Yours is a special case. Due to your family situation, we've set you up with a place to live for now. It's a sort of single person's halfway house. Your work placement starts Tuesday. It's not much, but Franco down there is a real good guy. He's used to dealing with parolees. Rob, you've been a model prisoner. I really hope things will go for you and I hope never to see you back in here again. Well, uh, first things first, thanks for everything. Anywhere's gotta be better than here. And I can promise you, you're not gonna see me in a place like this again. Calm down, all right. You know, you can stay at mine, you know, mate. Until you get your keys, like, it's not a problem. Thanks, mate. I really appreciate it. Plus, you know, mate, six years of partying to catch up on. Yeah, yeah, I know, but give us a chance to get settled in first, you know. A few quiet nights, at least. So, have you made plans to go and see your mum yet? Yeah, but I can't straight away. I mean, I've got to arrange it all with the care home and stuff. Right, Rob, this is where you be working, okay? Right, today you finish at 5 o'clock, okay? Normally you finish at midnight. You good to me, I'll be good to you, okay? Okay, right, I'll see you later. Okay, Rob, that's enough for today. So you moved in to your house today? Uh, yep. Good. Did you manage to get us some food? Not really a chance to only shopping yet. All right, there is two pizzas that somebody ordered and never came for them. Uh, thanks. All right, I'll see you tomorrow at five o'clock. Uh, yeah, five o'clock, Okay. Yeah. And don't be bloody late, okay? My problem, you stupid bitch. Scumbag! What are you gawping at? Is everything all right? We're fine. Look, I I'm Rob. I I've just moved in next door. I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. Hey, uh, do you guys like pizza? No, no, it's all right, you don't have to. No, no, I promise you, it's fine. I, I'll get him free from work anyway, and besides, there's only so much cold pizza you can eat. I'm Marianne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this little monster's rosy. Look, I'm sorry about all the drama. 
It's my ex and he thinks he can just walk in whenever he likes. It won't be happening again. Honestly, it's fine. Come on, Smelly, time for a bath. Rob, I owe you dinner for this. But, well, not that kind of dinner. Like, I meant with Rosie there, not just me and you. Come on, this is meant to be a party for fuck's sake. I don't know, I'll nip down a few dollars, I'll get some weed. No, you're not scoring from them knobheads. The bad news took. What do you mean? Lad, this wasn't the best area to start with, but more and more people like those keep moving in. And they're attracting smackheads. The type of smackheads that steal just for drugs, lad. Didn't realise things were that bad, like. I mean, everyone I've met so far seems nice. Mary Ann seems nice. Ooh, Mary Ann. <laughs> I'm cracking on something in the shop, dude. Oh, oh. Hey, mate. Hey, mate, I'm talking to you. Yeah. You better not be messing around with that bitch next door. Addy won't be happy if you're trying to jump in there, you know. Excuse me. You heard. You what? Yeah, didn't you know she's Addy's bird when he wants a bit? Oh, don't even go there, mate. Look, whatever happened around here, you know, before I moved in and that, that's none of my business. But I don't appreciate you two talking about her like that. And if you carry on, I'm going to make it my business. I don't appreciate you talking to me like that. Do you know something? I had to deal with bigger lads than you inside. But the only difference is, round here, I don't have guards to worry about. Saved by the bell, mate. Looks like we've got a bounce. I'll catch up with you next time. Mum, why can't we sit and watch TV? Because we have company, sweetheart. Do you like cartoons, Rosie? <laughs> I love cartoons. Do you watch Tom and Jerry? No? Hey, Mum. Oh, Thundercats. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtle power. Which you seriously need to educate your child on the delights of animated television. It's not the 80s anymore, Tuck. Sort it out. Shh. Don't worry, Rosie. I've got them all on DVD. I told I'll beat you with a spoon into it, I swear. Sorry. <laughs> you mean what's wrong with you? What is wrong? How old are you? Think of. Are you alright, Rob? Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> alright, come on then. How long have you lived on the estate? Oh. Um, we moved in around the time Rosie was born. I was living with my mum at the time, but it wasn't really working out. What about your parents? Do you still see them? Uh, no, not really. Um, mum's in a care home and, and Dad passed away a couple of years ago. So. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing to be sorry for. I mean, you know, shit happens, doesn't it? I mean, it was hard at the time when I got turned down, but it's just, it's life, isn't it? Mm. <sighs> on time as always. Well, it was on time. Rosa, honey, can you go up to your room and play for a little while? Yes, Mum. Yeah. Little losers. Spending too much time with Tuck. Addy and his mates, yeah. 
The people that they get the drugs from they come round once a week for the money. Flash bastards in the posh cars and fancy suits. You mean that those fuck ups aren't the big drug dealers that they make themselves out to be? Addy? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> no! He's an idiot. God, I was an idiot. You know, this street wasn't half as bad as people made it out to be, but now it's not even safe for us to play outside. I mean, you've seen the type of assholes they attract. Hang on a second. I know them two. You what? Fucking them two, there? They're the bastards who attacked me and got me sent down. What? You know them? Yeah. Yeah, Will Sheriff and John Prince. I knew they had some dodgy things going on, but I didn't know they was running things around here. The three of them jumped us. I fought back, but they make, well he fell over and he, he hit his head off the curb and he died. Do you know what? I had to stand in court and I had to watch them lie about how I attacked their mate. Oh, my dad was a copper all right. But they hounded him after I went away and he just, he couldn't prove that I was innocent. Because of them bastards. Look mate, come away from the window. Now's not the time to be dealing with it. Oh, hey, hey, let me get that for you. Oh, there you go. You all right? Where's the buggy gone? Oh, God, I think some smackheads stole it from the backyard. That's it, we're going to say. Have a nice day, yeah? See ya. Where's my money, you little prick? We... Where's my money? I, I haven't got it at the moment. Where's I said I'll my get money? it tomorrow. I promise you, I'll get it tomorrow. You've got a couple of days. Right, okay, if that's all I need. The car's been broken into. The radio's gone, the lot, yeah? Do you, you hear me, yeah? No, I don't know who did it. Do you know, eh? What? But you know who did this, don't you? you? Sorry, mate, I, honestly, I can't help you. Yeah, yeah. Come on, son, speed it out. All right, fine. The, look, it's like I was telling you. The, the people on the estate, they, they just need some help. But these lads I've been telling you about, they're connected, and it's like I can't do anything without landing myself back inside. So you want to help them, but you can't go to the police? Exactly. But the criminals can't go to the police either. What do you mean? Come on, I'll tell you. Hey, go get yourself in there, mate. I'll go and get you the way you go, right? Is this a new one, then? Aye. Uh, I... I knew that new lad's mate. Well, I mean, you know, I, I won't really say my mate, you know. He, he doesn't even let me smoke weed. Criminal. Criminal. There's your weed, mate. Yeah, well, if you could, Yardy. Yeah, don't do a take round, do you, mate? You, uh, you don't mind if I was going to do you? Crack on, crack on. Man, don't be mad at it. What? 
Rob. Is he here yet? Yeah, mate. A little bit worse for wear, though. I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right, Rob. Have you got anything to eat, John? Right, did you find it? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> Where is it, dipshit? So, um, it's in the bedroom. Which bedroom, man? Abby's bedroom. Oh, for fuck's sake, the house is exactly the same as this one. Which room? That bedroom. Oh. Alright, right, well, whereabouts in that one? It's... It's in the shoebox. Um, Next to his bed. Oh, hold on. Uh, have you just got anything to go with this? So it's happening then, tonight? Yep. Tucker's got to get some masks. Look, just be careful, yeah? Addy and his mates are a nasty bunch. Look, there's no need to worry. I mean, if this goes right, I mean, they won't even know we were there. Hey, up. Oh, Mary Ann. Right. Did you get him then? Well, kind of. What do you mean, kind of? <laughs> we'll see. So what do you think? Oh, for fuck's sake, Tuck. <sighs> what? I like him. I like a clever baby. Laughing. Mate, I love you a bit, but it's like babysitting a child sometimes. Come on. Your new name, clever baby. <sighs> These masks are ridiculous. Hey, little Johnny. These took me ages. You turned that frown upside down. Fuck you upside down in a minute, you little shit. Well, Shh! Right. Will you two stop arguing like an old married couple? It's like committing a crime with a chuckle brothers. Come on, this way.
So, what are we going to do with it? Well, I've got a few ideas. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? It doesn't matter who I am. There's your money. No, I don't want to see you round here ever again. Bait. I haven't got any bait for this time. I suppose this will have to do. Mum, Mum, look what Rob's got me! Wow, if you said thank you. Thank you, Rob. There hasn't been much movement over at Addy's place today. Yeah, well, I suspect there's going to be some movement there tonight. <laughs> Oh, oh, so, look, took your tomatoes off your chin, mate. Talk classic. No, seriously, Chuck, are you going to eat that, mate? Because it's not hard, mate. I'm not actually going to Hey, this is it. Oh, get the popcorn ready. <laughs> Sweetie, kind of means enjoy the show. Mm. Yeah, oh. it's an expression, sweetie. Enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs> You're an absolute idiot, so. <laughs> Fuck me, that money, that fucking shithead. I told you a long time ago what the fuck would happen if you screwed about with our money. Sorry, John, it wasn't us. One of you fucking smackheads have stolen it. Just fucking out of the house. Let's deal with it quickly. Yeah. Okay. I want you out of here now. Get your fucking smackhead mates and take them with you. What about our stuff? What about your stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs>